Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Cheap Wine Girls. I'm Allie. And I'm Alex. And we're pretty excited because today we're opening the first of the new bottles that we were sent by our friends at The Seeker. We've actually already been drinking this rosé. As you can see, we're enjoying it enough. We've made a good dent. So we've made a good dent. So this rosé from uh, Côte de Provence mm -hmm. in France yep. is very, very dry, which we were excited about at first because there is nothing worse than like a cloying, sweet rosé. Mm -hmm. This is kind of pretty much the opposite of that. It's super citrusy, um, lemon, grapefruit. It's very crisp. Um, to the point, I think they may have overdone it a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, what Ali was saying with the sort of citrus, the grapefruit uh, especially, I think, kind of overpowers the palate. The grapefruit vodka wines. When I was first yeah. taking a sip, that's what it reminded me of, mm -hmm. which was refreshing. Yeah, and, and it's one of my favorite cocktails. So. Totally great option for a summer afternoon, yeah. for a picnic. Mm -hmm. Not exactly what I wanted out of the wine, mm -hmm. but... I like it. I think it's just, it's not quite balanced enough for yeah. me to love this. Right. And I think that the colder it is in this case, the better. Um, the warmer it gets, the more that citrus comes out of it for mm -hmm. me. So. Um, so one of the things that they had actually noted was that it was specifically great with berries. And they actually also, in the tasting notes, uh, the wine, suppo we're supposed to be getting notes of berry, which, which I don't get at we all. We don't, yeah. Um, but we did bring out some strawberries to see if that would change our, uh, mm -hmm. our opinion. So, so here we go. Let's find out. You know, I feel like that makes a huge difference. It does like, actually. I think it changes it. It makes it just a tad sweeter in your mouth. I think the like sugar that's mm -hmm. left over from yeah. the strawberries. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> it's pretty. It's delicious. It is beautiful. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't think this is a bad option at all. No. Yeah. I also think this wine would be great with something that's a little bit richer, mm. whether it's if you're, you know, outside on a summer day, it's a pasta salad or something. And it retails, we found it at $11.99, $10.99. $10.99. Yeah. So a little bit of a splurge from our normal offerings. Mm -hmm. It is a new offering from The Seeker, so we're hoping that at some point we'll find it somewhere on sale. I think if this was, to be honest, I think if it was $7, I would buy it all the time. I'd be excited to drink another bottle. Yeah, not a bad buy at all. So star rating, I think, what would, what do you want to give it? I would say four would be a good bet for me. Yeah. I yeah, think. four sounds, sounds right. about right. Four stars. Four stars from this French Rosé from The Seeker. Um, it's a new wine for them, mm -hmm. so check it out. I think they're also going to have a contest running, so mm -hmm. we'll get some more details and post that on our Facebook and Twitter and on our blog, CheapWineGirls.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers. We decided it might be a good idea to uh, rim the glass with sugar, sort of like a margarita, except mm -hmm. a rosé strawberry cocktail. Uh, yeah, we would say don't do that. It was a bad idea.